Hi friends, welcome to my channel and today in this video I'm going to show you how to add and connect Hyper-V cluster to Windows Admin Center. So you, uh, if you worked on Windows failover cluster, there was always way to uh, go and connect uh, cluster your clusters for, by using Windows failover cluster manager which is uh, basically a uh, not the GUI based, uh, not the uh, basically browser based application. So now Microsoft introduced Windows Admin Center where you can connect your failover cluster by using the web based browser and you can all uh, do the all the management tasks from um, failover cluster manager related to failover cluster manager from Windows Admin Center. So here you can see I have added one screenshot of the our uh, cluster infrastructure which we are managing from a Windows Admin Center and in this video I'm going to show you how, how you can add your cluster to the uh, Windows Admin Center so let's get in so this is the infrastructure which I'm going to use in this video to give you the demo so the first machine is going to be our Active Directory and DNS server so this is Win2K19 DC01 and you can see Active Directory and DNS role of this machine and uh, IP address of this machine is 192.168.0.151 and memory which is assigned to my domain controller is 6GB and my domain name is victorinfosol.lan so let's check this machine so you can see Active Directory and DNS role is installed on this machine and if I go to local server you can see this is my domain controller win2k19 dc01 and this is my domain name victorinfosol.lan and here is my IP address of domain controller 192.168.0.151 so this is my Active Directory and DNS server and the second machine which I have is my Windows Admin Center server which you can see Win2K19 AC01 and IP address of this machine is 192.168.0.150 and 6 gig memory is assigned to this machine and this machine is also joined in my domain which is victorinfosol.lan so here is AC01 so if I go to local server you can see Win2K19 AC01 and if I open browser here and go to Windows Admin Center you can see I have just connected to Windows Admin Center and from here we can have a manage computer failover cluster manager so we are going to add our uh, cluster failover cluster basically Hyper-V cluster here and this admin center so the next thing which we have is our failover cluster I have two node failover cluster for Hyper-V and you can see the cluster name is going to be HV cluster 01 and this uh, role of the, this node is Hyper-V cluster and you can see the IP address of cluster is 192.168.0.160 and the cluster is created under victorinfosol.lan and here is I have two nodes in this cluster which is HV hyphen node 01 and HV hyphen node 02 so let's check this cluster so here are two nodes you can see HV node 01 so let's check one by one so this is my HV node 01 and this machine is my HV node 02 so I have two node cluster here and you can see the cluster object details so cluster name is HV hyphen cluster 01 you can see it from here and the IP address of cluster you can basically verify from here also which is going to be assigned on your domain NIC 160 and also you can do it uh, check it from failover cluster manager so I'm going to click on tools and I'm going to launch failover cluster manager which is basically a tool to manage your failover cluster so here you can see the my cluster name if I click on cluster name you can see the details like name of the cluster HV hyphen cluster 01 and IP address of this cluster which is 192.168.0.160 and if I go here you can see my quorum disk you can see if I go to nodes you can see I have two nodes which is HVZ hyphen node 01 and HV hyphen node 02 and I have two virtual machines also here which is and currently uh, power of state so this is my cluster which I'm going to you add in my uh, admin center so let's do it so I'm going to click on here on my windows admin center I'm going to click on add button and this is going to give you options like add server connection add windows pc connection and here third option which 
we have add failover cluster connection so I'm going to click on that and now I'm going to put my cluster name which we which is HV cluster 01 and wait for some time it's going to give you the details like validation so you can see found HV hyphen cluster dot vector info soul dot LAN and it's also going to give you the both the nodes which is added so if you have a more than two nodes it's going to give you here so this is one of the important thing if you want to add these two nodes also in your Windows Admin Center you can click directly from here just mark it and when you click submit it's going to add this cluster and it's also going to add these two Hyper-V hosts here so I'm going to click on just submit so you can see now we got cluster which having a here a small cluster icon we have a, a both node added here and now what I'm going to do you can see last connected status is going never so I'm going to click on this uh, this cluster icon and it's going to connect to my cluster infrastructure so just it's going to take few seconds and now you can see we are connected with hv hyphen cluster 01 dot vector infosol dot lan so this is good and now you can see uh, all the details here like name, IP address, you can do the storage like uh, disk type, you can see the infrastructure also and you can see how many disks are assigned, the current host uh, which is having this node or uh, this cluster uh, active so cluster roles 2 which is going to be my virtual machines and we have three networks so let's check one by one so this is disk we can see all the disk available and we can do the administrative task related to this failover cluster manager from here itself like if you go here you can see all details like we have a two share a cluster share volume you can see here so this is one thing and the second we have network you can see the network also here what networks we have and you can verify all the details if you want to verify details like which uh, which NIC having what IP address configured on nodes and also if you go and click on nodes you can see your both nodes here like if you want to stop any services or if you want to manage any nodes you can go there and directly manage the nodes also from there so this is good thing so coming back here if you want to like push a uh, cluster node uh, cluster services you can do it from here you can remove you can stop service anything related to uh, administrative tasks related to nodes here you can do it from here so if I go on roles you can see what we have so we have two virtual machines role and I'm going to start both virtual machines from here and then we are going to see like uh, you can see I'm going to power on so now you can see the VM01 is running and it's powered on and VM02 is also started so if you wish to see anything details from here related to what configuration is there on this machine you can always go and check the details like virtual machine configurations file is there what type of storage is there from where the storage is coming so it's coming from cluster shared volume so this is good thing and also you can uh, move the like role so it's running on node 1 let's try to move on node 2 so you can simply click on move and then where you want to move so I'm going to select my node 2 and move and it's going to do the live migration from the Hyper-V cluster so if I go here now you can see live migration has been initiated so you can basically do the live migration also from uh, this uh, Windows Admin Center for a cluster which is good thing and if you go to updates you can manage the Windows update also here so click yes and I'm going to connect so it's going to take few seconds here can see it's running Windows PowerShell remoting should be enabled on each failover cluster node so it's saying like failover cluster um, uh, 
like PowerShell management has been allowed so if it's not allowed you can go and create the firewall rules to allow remote management for PowerShell so now you can see live migration is completed from here and you can see VM01 has been moved to uh, HV, uh, node, uh, HV node 02 which is good thing which we have done from here so basically you can go here and configure the cluster aware update setup uh, by you can see adding cluster aware update to roles to the cluster so it's going to enable your cl uh, cluster aware update feature in your both nodes uh, to uh, manage the uh, update process windows update process for the cluster and let's move to next which is windows machine uh, virtual machine so you can see virtual machine summaries and inventory both from here like what machines you have what is the summary of your virtual uh, virtualization infrastructure so you can see two virtual machines both are running and you don't have like power off save the post machine and you can see a host like CPU informations like guest uh, percentage and this host percentage of CPU consumption and you can see how much uh, memory is, uh, CPU is getting used by these two virtual machines you can see also logical thing like a nice chart here for the memory and CPU both and if you want to wish to ma uh, view the inventory of the all virtual machines you can see from here it's going to be very good thing and if you wish to like do the shutdown or anything uh, you can select all machine and you can do all the tasks from here so we have also like uh, some advanced option here if I select any virtual machine and more you can see some others like new checkpoint you can create from here you can uh, go to settings also of the virtual machine you can move rename connect download RTB file you can do anything so if I go to click on settings you can see what it's going to open it's going to open like uh, all the information and if you wish to change any information any hardware configuration for virtual machine you can come and you can change from here so which is good thing and here we have a virtual switch which is assigned to this cluster you can see it from here so sometime it's going to take few seconds to load this uh, basically a user interface for web page so you have to uh, wait for a few seconds because uh, it's always going to have a first time to take some time and then once it's uh, this all the information is saved in cluster uh, like local cache it's going to be speed up so this is good thing and you can also go to settings so now you can see when we click on settings it's going to give you option like journal settings and you will got the option to configure Hyper-V host settings like where the Hyper-V virtual machines files are going to store where the configuration files is going to store and also you can choose the live migration settings like if you wish to uh, uh, change the live migration settings you can come and you can change it from here which is good thing so basically you can manage your uh, full cluster infrastructure from Windows admin centers which is good thing so you can see that uh, time has been changed for last connected so this is all about how to add and configure your uh, how to add or connect your Hyper-V cluster uh, to Windows Admin Center and how to do some administrative tasks from Windows Admin Center related to Windows failover cluster so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this video you can always post them in my given mail address thank you once again bye bye